Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. This is one of the loveliest sites in Oklahoma this time of year, a canola field in full bloom. But there's a lot more to these little yellow flowers than just a pretty field. Here's SUNUP's Grant Leatherwood to explain. Welcome to a stop on the Oklahoma Winter Canola Field Tour, where they are singing the praises of a crop that's growing in popularity. Well, I'm interested in it, and I wanted to see if they had some different varieties and see what varieties look the best and make a kind of an educational trip. This presentation in Kingfisher County is one of more than a dozen around the state that pairs producers like J.C. Cunneman with canola extension specialists from Oklahoma State University who discuss topics like pest control, varieties, fertility, and marketing. Like many growers, Cunneman first planted canola last year in rotation. Well, when we planted it, the price for wheat wasn't as good as it is now. And uh, if you're in a rotation program, you just keep it going. Try to rotate all your fields and I hope to get to where I'm doing about a third and rotate every three years, I'll have a complete rotation. An added benefit, canola's evolution in Oklahoma to become a cash crop. More local elevators are accepting the oil seed all the time, and demand is rising. The market has uh, improved and has made it a viable option for wheat farmers, and if they're wanting to increase their uh, wheat yields, canola also can help do that. Doug Hauser first planted canola in this field six years ago as part of an experiment with OSU. Hauser didn't expect his first crop to do much other than kill weeds. It did just that for us and since then we planted it on uh, all of our other farms and I'm kind of rotating it back through uh, to this farm this year. Sort of like a superstar on another tour stop. For SUNUP, I'm Grant Leatherwood. <laughs>